Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to Train Sim 2017. Today we're doing a run up to the Spiral, which is the Spiral uh, Kicking Horse Pass, I believe it's called, in British Columbia. Uh, yeah, British Columbia. And uh, here's what we have to say. We have, you can begin your eastward movement, but you'll need to stop at Field Main East 1 East signal. I have loaded a grain train coming down into field right now. After it passes, you should have a clear run up the mountain. RTC out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Take the brake off. Put the fuel, put the gas on a little bit here. Now the funny thing is, I've actually been to this town before. It's a very bizarre town. It actually looks exactly like this, where you have like a hill, and it just goes exactly the way it looks right there is what it looks like in real life. It's really strange. There's a river going right behind, right beside it, right there. It is a very bizarre town. Uh, I remember we actually stopped there and tried to find uh, coffee, but we were unable to locate the coffee. Uh, which is kind of strange because you think you'd be able to find coffee everywhere, but Apparently not in this particular town. There may have been a coffee place. We just didn't actually find it Anyways, the first stop is actually really close here, so um, We're gonna continue on our way slowly up towards that location now. This is a bit of a longer scenario So be sure to stick around. It's uh, about a 60 minute one so you may want to break it up into a couple parts. I'm going to play it straight through. And this is, <laughs> like I said, it's actually a bizarre uh, scenario because I've actually been to this location before. And uh, when I went there, it looked uh, exactly like this. You know, obviously in real life it looks better because it's real life and not a video game. But they did a pretty good job representing this town because it definitely has like trees all back and it's like all on a hill just like that. So, I'm gonna drop down our uh, our engine here a little bit. I don't know if we have a stop. Uh, stop at 10:03. Okay, maybe we should keep our foot on the gas, so to speak. Now we are waiting for a train to come down, so we'll need to stop at that uh, at that particular place. Uh, it's not too far up here. It's right here, and as soon as we get up to this area, you'll be able to see. The other train coming down. Now the funny thing here is, is the fact that I've actually stopped at this exact location where this road comes up across this little bridge right here and there's actually a road that comes up here and there's a, kind of like a parking spot up here in real life and my wife and I actually stopped and had lunch right there because there, there was a couple trains going by so we decided to stop there in real life and just decided to hang out and wait for the train to go by. Maybe we're supposed to stop before this? I don't know. Maybe. Alright. Put the brake on here. Slow her down. And... Wait for that train to go by. Now last time I've actually tried this and I was unsuccessful, strangely enough. Um, in the first five minutes too even. So we're waiting for this train to go. Now what happened last time was this train actually started sliding backwards. And I was really confused as to why we were, I lost so many points. But it's because the train started sliding backwards. Now we're on a hill and that's probably part of the reason why. But if we start seeing sliding backwards, we'll know we did something wrong. We even got a timeliness bonus this time. So it was the exact opposite last time I did this scenario. We're just going to wait in the train here, wait for the other one to go by. Some green trains going out to the coast, looks like. Probably going out to a port. Ready to be sold overseas, perhaps. Alright. I really do like this DLC. It looks fantastic. Especially when you've been to these places before and you can kind of compare what it looks like in real life to what this looks like. And it's really neat to be able to see a place you've been in real life and drive a train through there, so to speak. All right. We're not sliding back, which is good. It's a pretty long train. It's got a few more cars to go. Very nice. Interestingly enough, in Farm Sim, you actually have these types of cars. <laughs> in the trains in Farm Sim. 
which is kind of funny. I'm keeping the break break on so hard here just because I don't want to uh, I don't want to slide again because last time when I got to this exact spot it was like less than like you know 10 minutes in the scenario there was a I started sliding back so I'm keeping the brakes on 80 percent so that doesn't happen again oh there's the end of the train right there this is good we'll get the green light to go soon if I hit tab right now say request to pass a danger denied that's because there's a train right there but you'll see our signals change in a second here and once they change we'll be able to go There's a locomotive right there, or the train itself. There's a green light for us. Take the brake off slowly here. As we start progressing forward, one hopes. Now we are on a hill, so that doesn't help us at all. We have to try and avoid wheel slip too. Oh. There we go, we're moving forward slowly. Now, because you lose points if you have too much wheel slip. It takes a lot of energy to get started up a hill. Oh goodness, that is a lot. Put the sand down maybe? Is that gonna give us a little bit extra traction? No, we're sliding backwards here. See, this is what happened last time. I don't know how they do it. It helps when you go forward, Ian. <laughs> there we go. I was like, why am I sliding back? I haven't lost any points to this yet. This is a good sign, I guess. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Not too much slip. There we go. 25% should do it. Take the sander off there. That's too funny. I'm like, why are we going forward? You need to put it in forward gear first. <laughs> All right. Put up to 38% throttle here as we start making our way up the hill. There we go. Now, the way this works here is, uh, where are we? So there's a big spiral right there. So we are heading this way. And we're going to head up the track here. And go all the way along here and go through the spiral. And that was, or the spirals, I should say. There we go. 20 clicks, or 20 miles an hour is our speed limit right here. So let's go ahead and make sure we try and maintain that as best as possible. Maximize our points. I'm surprised we didn't lose points for sliding backwards. That's what happens when you take your brake off and then, you know, forget to put the, put, forget to put it in forward gear. And there we go. Let's put it up to 50% throttle now. Because we're going up a 1.2% grade. Wow, look at that. Screenshot. There we go. Coming up to 12 kilometers an hour, 12 miles an hour, 13, 14. Probably take the throttle down a little bit. We don't need that much craziness. But I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to need it to continue our progression upwards. Because as the whole train gets on that incline, yeah, we're at 1.8% now. This isn't going to continue to go up anytime soon. I don't know how many trains are. We've got one, two, probably three, four in the back, I'm guessing. 16.5%, 6.5% miles an hour. Yeah, see, now it's starting to fluctuate now. 16.8, well, it's still going up slowly. Not much, though. 16.9. This would be a really interesting uh, train ride in real life. I don't know if passenger cars do the same run or not. I think they do, uh, to be honest with you, but I'm not 100% on that. When's our next stop here? Uh, Cathedral, Main West. Okay, 1019. That's what we're looking at here. 18.1, we're still increasing speed slowly. This is good. Like I said, we don't want to increase speed too quickly here. Very nice. Look at that. Man, this DLC is 
Well, for me, I'm, I'm Canadian and I've actually been to a lot of these places, so that's what makes this really, really cool. Alright, let's throttle back a little bit here. Take it down 38%. Oh, that's losing speed, so... Look at that. Very cool. Don't see any air signs coming up here. Yep, 18.4. We'll stick at 50% throttle. That seems to be just enough. Oh, we're actually losing speed now again. 18.1. Like I said, as we get further up on this hill and as the whole train gets up on this incline, we'll definitely see a little bit of that... Uh, we'll definitely see a little bit of that loss in speed. Alright. Have our next it marker coming up in 0.71 miles. There we go. And we're running, averaging around 18. That's not bad. Very cool. Some of the some of the scenery in this is really slick. 17.9. Oh, we're actually losing speed again. 2.2% incline. Not even the whole train's on the incline yet. Goes to show you how much weight is on this actual locomotive. This whole loco. Or train, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure there's a name for one versus the other. I'm not an expert. I'll say that much. But if I had to guess, I would say the locomotive is the actual engine itself. And the train would be all of it. But that would be a guess in this context. If you know the answer to that question, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment below with the answer to that question. 17.7. It's increased throttle up to 75% here. We need to run a schedule here. We don't want to lose time. Don't want to lose time here or waste time. 2.2% incline. Looks like we're still inclining here. Inclining or increasing or ascending the summit, whatever you want to call it. Very cool. 17.9. We're actually losing speed still. That's crazy. Are we well, we'll keep an eye on it. We may not lose anymore. Who knows? That's a neat little. Coming around the mountain, so to speak. Nice. This is one of the reasons why I like this game. You end up taking like screenshots. Like the number of screenshots I take in this game, just like because you're like watching the train the whole time, you're like, whoa, what's that? And you're like, wow, look at that. I don't know. Just the way I am, I guess. All right, 17.7. We're actually losing speed a little bit still. Increased it up to 87% throttle. Hopefully, we'll be able to make it up here. We got a green light. This is good. If we had a red light, that'd be really bad. <laughs> I could imagine having a red light going up this hill. Alright, stop. 2.2% incline. Uh, okay. I'm sure it's happened in emergency scenarios, and it's probably not a fun scenario to be in, but... I'm sure it does happen. Alright, here we go. Throttle's at 100%. Trying to maintain our speed. We haven't got any uh, wheel slippage loss points, so obviously not losing speed. We're just, or obviously not losing traction, I should say, really. Which is good for us. We're actually increasing speed slightly, which is okay. As I mentioned, we have to go all the way up here. All the way up around there. Our next stop is in 1.61 miles. Don't need to stop there, we just need to go via that location, which is good. 18.6. Still inclining. We're still in I'm not even sure if that's a word. Inclining. I guess it is. Still going up the hill. There we go. Very cool. Nice location, too. Must be kind of, like, scary to do this in the winter. Like, could you imagine that? Maybe they take it down a notch with how much um, weight they pull up the mountain, but I don't know. Ooh, what's this? Looks like the track is like floating. <laughs> That's because it is. <laughs> oh, what happened? Wonder what happened there. Somebody forgot something. <laughs> 
I guess because most people are in the in the train, they don't see that. I guess. If I had to guess, that was the reason why. But oh, well, when you're paying paying forty bucks for a route, you want to you want it to be pretty darn good. So, all right, we're gonna throttle back here a little bit. Maybe not. Let's take a look out the other side here. That looks like rock there. Concrete wall. Look at that down there. And this is actually what you see from the road too. You'll like look up from the road and you'll see a train going out on the side of the mountain. It's really bizarre. You're like, haha, okay, I guess that's um that's where they gotta go. And it's true, that's where they gotta go. Did I keep my lights on? Here we are. Keep the lights on so we can see around corners and whatnot. It's 10, 16 in the morning. We got three more minutes to get to our next destination, less than a mile to go. This is good. Slow going up this mountain, which is to be expected, honestly. Like, would you really expect a train to go up a mountain quickly? If so, if, if you did, would it, would it be safe? Mm, not so sure. There we go. Very cool. And they actually have spots uh, along the highways where you can stop and look at the trains uh, going along. It's really neat. It's really neat to see because you'll have like a, they're like a little like kind of like a lookout almost. Uh, you can't see me, but I'm making like a little quotation marks. I'm like, look outside, place. You can actually take a look at the uh, all the trains going by. It's very cool. And they actually have this thing that we're going through right now is actually protected from. I think it's avalanches and landslides. So when you're, un well, it protects the tracks essentially. They have them on the road sometimes too. So there you go. There's a rock slide right there. And that's a, an area where you have a lot of rock slides. And then they have that little hut, whatever you want to call it, to protect the, uh, the tracks themselves. Half a mile. Still increasing in speed ever so slowly. 19.4 miles an hour. We'll get there. We'll get there. Screenshot. And... I noticed um, I actually got this DLC and one other DLC at the same time during the fall sale, I guess it was. And uh, one thing I noticed is I couldn't find any scenarios for the the SD. I think it was the SD twenty SD twenty wide nose. And I didn't notice this, but there actually is one that goes along. There's actually a career one that goes along with this particular pass. So it seems like you need to have the Canadian Mountain passes to, for in order to get the wide nose to have any scenarios with the wide nose. That's uh, what it seemed like, at least. All right, still increasing. Quarter of a mile. That's why I put the light on there so we can see when we're in the tunnels, just in case there's any animals. I don't think they have that in this game, but you never know. There's the road right there. Now, I'm gonna save right here. Save progress in the current snare, yes. We're doing pretty good. And you never know with lights. We got a green light still. They wouldn't. Oops, they wouldn't stop you with a green light. But as you can see, uh, green. We're go. I think the, these two are. One of them's from over here. The second one, I believe. Very good. 140 feet. Did we make it in time? Yes. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Our next spot is Yoho, another place I've been. That's awfully close to us. Uh, I've been to Yoho as well, and uh, on around Yoho, Yoho Provincial, or no, Yoho National Park, sorry, um, they do have uh, some places where you can see the trains too. Also, as a random side note, if you do live in Canada, uh, next year, uh, 2017, is the 150th anniversary of Canada, and if you would like to go to the national parks, they are free. Only the national parks, though. Uh, national parks and marine, uh, there's a couple marine uh, areas too that are free next year. Otherwise, you'd have to pay for them. And then you do have to go onto the Parks Canada website in order to get a pass to do that, but it's free to get that. But you need to sign up for it. 
there's national parks all over the place. There's a few in Ontario, a few in Quebec. They're all over the place, really. Ooh, look at that picture. Nice. This is what happens when I end up playing this game. I know, like, half of what I'm doing is, like, taking screenshots. Just because it's like, ooh, trains, I guess. I don't know. All right. Where's our next spot here? Slowly making our way up the, uh, up the pass. Nineteen point five per nineteen point point five miles an hour. Don't want to see that going too high. What we need to be careful about is on the way down. Actually, is the other big spot where you need to be careful about because uh, going down is a lot harder than going up in this game because you have to maintain your speed going down, which is really difficult. Which is where you need to engage your dynamic brakes. And I believe it was Alex who helped me with that. Maybe Rel. I can't remember. Thank you both. Either way. in either case. There we go. Continuing on our journey up the mountain. There you go, look at that. And when you're in British Columbia, that's what you see. Like you'll be just walking around and in British Columbia you'll see like mountains in the background. It's gorgeous. Went there for the first time this summer. Definitely would go back. Just the, the scenery and landscape. People are really nice too. All in all, very beautiful province. People in Calgary and Alberta were really nice too actually. Um, we were greeted by people at the airport when we were there in cowboy hats. They're all volunteers, actually. And uh, they were all very, very kind. Because we were like, it was, our first time, it was my first time flying. My wife's it was like second or third time, something like that. I'm so lost in the airport. I'm like, well, where are we going? Like, um, so I ended up asking one of the people in the cowboy hats, and they're very, very kind. I'm like, yeah, probably over there is your best bet. It was very neat. Wow, look at that. Can't compare to the real thing, but it's pretty cool. Different, different way to see the uh, to see the whole uh, area, really. Nice, beautiful. There's actually a Steam sale on right now. Current date is December twenty sixth, Boxing Day. If you're in Canada or any of the any country apparently colonized by the British at some point. So I think Australia, Ireland, Scotland, the, all the UK I think would have Boxing Day. Australia does. It's, I was talking to some, to, to some Americans and people were like, what's, what are, what's Boxing Day? And I'm like, oh, you guys don't have Boxing Day? So I had to go back into the history books and discover the reason why we did, had it. It was very neat actually. Ooh, what's that? There's lots of these like little mountain streams here in British Columbia too. It's very neat to see. And they're all like crystal clear too. And I imagine in the spring they're probably pretty scary. If I had to guess. All right. So where we are on the map. Oh, we're going through the first spiral right here. We'll just save it right here. It's a long scenario. And what does that say? 1908. Wow. So when they first did this, I guess it was in 1908. I can't remember if that might have been when the last spike was uh, was placed down too. Let's put the lights on here. Oh. Guess it doesn't really matter. I thought that it was light. I thought that put lights on, but I guess not. There we go. Oh, 19.8 miles an hour. Better be careful about that. We're still going strong. Our next waypoint is not visible right now. Probably throttle back a little bit here. There will be westbound main manifest freight lead unit in the clear for you. Okay. It's always important to save. All right, let's take the throttle back here down to 80% because we don't want to speed because the grade has changed now, we're at 1.6% instead of 2.2. So this is the crazy thing, this is a huge spiral inside of a mountain, that's the amazing part about this. And if you're lucky, uh, there's a couple of spots off the highway where you can actually see the train, so you can see like the front and back of the train doing the spiral. Uh, it's really neat. 
All right, 20.3. Gonna throttle back again to 75%. Don't wanna go too fast. There we go, we're slowing down a little bit there, good. Looks like it evens out up at Yoho. Coming up to the exit here. Very cool. Now, uh, where is it, this one? Oh, so there's the bottom of the train right there. So that's what we just went in. So that's the really cool part about that. So you can see the bottom part of the train and the front part of the train coming out of this little area. I better slow down here a little bit. And that is the coolest part about that. Look at that. So there's the bottom or the back and there's the front. How neat is that? And that's what you can see sometimes. And actually, I don't know if you can see it, but that highway, I think, is that a, no, it's not a highway down there, but it's kind of neat to see. And here we come back up to our, what looks like floating track. Not too happy about that, but don't know what happened there. Dovetail, fix your stuff. <laughs> See? Oh. We're at 20 miles an hour again. Look at that. There we go. There's that stream we passed on the bottom. Nice. Yeah, that's bizarre. I wonder why they left it like that. I'm sure it wasn't on purpose because that looks bad. All right. Let's continue up the mountain here. We're at 75% throttle. We don't, probably don't need, honestly, to increase our throttle. We're still maintaining 2.2, which is good. Is it going to take it off, take, uh, off to the right or go straight? I don't know. Should go straight, I imagine, yeah. Don't know why they want you to go off to the to the right. That wouldn't make any sense, honestly. Especially when you're trying to go up a hill. Usually in British Columbia, they have a lot of signs that say yield to uh, people coming up the hill, which was a, bit, a strange sign for me to see. Because we don't have that. No, I've never seen that on Ontario, at least. It may exist. i just never seen it. 20.1 mile an hour. Next stop off is at 10.35. Looks like we got about five, a few more minutes to go. So there's the other train right there. And there we go. Sound our bell, we're passing another train there. Excellent. There's another, looks like a potential rock slide area. There's a lot of those in British Columbia. There's the highway down there. And I believe that highway right there is where you can see the mountain pass. There we go. So that would be the hard one to do, going down that spiral like that, trying to maintain your speed. Yikes. All right. Turn off the bell. There we go, got some tankers right there. Some grain, perhaps. Imagine people who drive this act, or people who are the uh, the driver. Of this probably see a lot of wildlife. I would imagine. I wonder what that is. A switch, switch house or something like that. Like a a break room for the uh, CP Rail guys. I don't know. Actually, I have somebody who actually works. I think for Canadian National though. I can't. Um, she works as a Canadian National ergonomist. I think it is something like that. When I first heard she got a job for for the rail, I was like, really? Okay, that's cool. Because she used to be a kinesiologist. So it was an odd transition. When I heard about it, at least so. Alright, there we go. Excellent. Check to make for sure we're good. Yep, looks like it. Probably increase our throttle a little bit here. We want to try and maintain 20 kilometers, 20 miles an hour as best we can. We don't want to slow down if we don't have to. 
because we were on a tight schedule. 10.35. Excellent. I think there's another pass up there. I'm not sure if that was the train or if that, that might be the train actually. Oh yeah, that totally is. Check it out. We're doing that right now. 1916, I think it said there. 1918, maybe. There we go. 1.7 mile, 1.7 percentage grade. So 88% is the throttle we're gonna stick to for the time being. Let's continue our way all the way up the mountain here as we get to the next stop. There we are, we're doing a little loop right here. So that's the two loops right there. And then we're gonna go, I guess, all the way over here somewhere. Stopping at Lake Louise, 19.7. Probably can throttle back a little bit here, in a moment at least. 19.9, oh yeah, if we're increasing speed, yeah, we could probably throttle back to 75% again. There we go. Drop it down 75%, continue on our way. There we go, finishing our pass here. Apparently we sped up somehow, that's bizarre. Go via the parts remain west, main west ARR, arriving at 10.35, departing at 10.35. Four more minutes to that particular stage of the journey. Well, we're still maintaining 20, maintaining 20 miles an hour, this is good. So this particular one's called, what is this one called? Spiral Bound. So you are the engineer of a priority. Oh, we're on a priority this time, sweet. Priority CPO Intermodal Train 100 and you've just been, you have just climbed aboard at the field crew change point, you'll be headed eastbound and over the heart of Kicking Horse Pass. Yeah, it was Kicking Horse Pass. Awesome. Sweet. Check that out. There's the bottom half of the train right there. Can you see it? That's awesome. So there's the top. So there's the head of the train and there's the tail. <laughs> Neat. That's crazy when you think about it. We just did a huge spiral, and the tail end is still coming through the entrance. Anyways, back to what I was seeing here. Kicking horse pass en route to Lake Louise with the famous spiral tunnels ahead. Your consist is a key, is a key, is a heavy stack train. So we've got a green light there. That's good. That's why we have priority. We're all got green lights. Uh, heavy stack train, and you have three GE ES44 ACs. Let's throttle back here a little bit so we don't go over 20 kilometers an hour. As power, two up front and one in the rear. Timeliness bonus once again there. We're early. Excellent. 1.9% grade here. All right, looks like we're doing good still. Actually doing well. Excellent. Look at that. All those mountains. Gorgeous. All right, where are we at here? We might be able to throttle back even more. We're maintaining 20.5 pretty good actually. 20.4, okay, we're slowing down a little bit. That's okay. Slowing down a little bit's not bad. So here we are. We just did all this right here and we're heading out towards the south track right there. That's our next stop. All right, our grade staying at 1.9. Another rock slide there. Like I said, there's tons of these in BC. Just a ton. Also, I noticed lots of random waterfalls. Like you'll be driving down the highway and you'll see like a little tiny waterfall coming off the mountain. It's pretty neat. All right, crank it back up to 75%. Try and maintain our 20 mile an hour speed. Not too much more than that though. We don't want to be flying up the mountain or down the mountain for that matter. 
We want slow progression in both directions. Especially when you're on a train, too. Looks good. Maintaining our speed, excellent. Very nice. Let's do a quick little save here. It's always nice to save, because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Depending on how you like to play the game. Like, if you like to do it straight through, it's a lot, that's a pr the problem with this game is like, to do it straight through, it takes a long time. Like, this is like an hour long scenario in this case. So, in order to do it straight through, and if you make a mistake, you're going to have to commit another hour, essentially, at least an hour, in order to try it again. Thus, the reason why I'm saying as I go through each area, so as I go past uh, some of the different lights I've been saving, just be on the safe side, because I would rather go back to a save point than go back to the beginning again. All right, 25 mile an hour speed increase up here. Looks like it goes from a 1.9 to maybe a, a 0.5 or something up there. Leveling out here a little bit. Let's see what happens once we get there. So we got 20 kilometers an hour, 20 miles an hour. We're in for inverser or in forward effort. Throttle six. We're actually slowing down ever so slightly. Max speed is 70 MPH. I wonder if the the drivers of the train have like a map or something so they know where they are roughly. Or I guess they have GPS. Maybe they have GPS. I don't know. I guess there's train GPS. Why wouldn't there be? Heck, if there's GPS for cars and tractors, I don't know why you wouldn't have for trains. All right. Four point two miles to go to Stephen South Track. There's lots of rail history. If you ever want to do a, how do you even call it? Um, maybe it would be like a, tra no, a train history tour. BC is a good place to go. Because there's lots of it there. All right. Twenty five miles an hour up here. Increase our speed ever so slowly. Throttle up to 100%. Let's see what the uh, the effort is like. Throttle eight. We were at six before. So which is down here? No, here, here. There we go. So it's throttle right there. <laughs> Got a green light still. This is good. Coming on through. Excellent. So if you were this guy right here, you'd have a red light. Because they're giving me priority, which is awesome. 3.2. Excellent. Doing a quick little save here. Saving our progress as we go along. As we pass by lights that are okay to pass by. Because you never know. Sometimes you'll do something and you're like, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Or you look away from the computer for a second, which I've done more than once now. So I looked away from the computer and I'm like, oh, yeah. You know that 45 minutes you just spent trying to get to that one point? Yeah, about that. You're going to have to go ahead and do it again. Doesn't happen often, but... That's why I've been saving often. Because you never know. I may make some mistake and... Right at the last end, when you're getting a little bit tired... Very good. Front headlight. Okay. Our headlights are on. Up to 21 miles an hour. Excellent. Slowly increasing in speed. This is good for us. A slow increase in speed is excellent. There's that. I mean, you call that brook or creek or river. I might go into the Bow Valley. I don't know. All right. Continuing on to the next stage, next point in three. Less than three now. Let's see what do we got here. 
It's too bad they didn't include any uh, wildlife, but might have been a bit too much. Yeah, might have been a bit too much if they included wildlife too. Would have been neat to see like a deer as you're driving the train. I'm sure it's happened where train drivers probably hit like a deer or something like that. I don't know, maybe they wouldn't. It'd be hard for a train to sneak up on something, but I'm sure it's happened. What does that say there? 126. Okay. Guess that's the kilometers from something. Or track number. Or marker. Marker 126, maybe. Looks like the uh, Canmore entrance almost, because we're going into we're going into Alberta now. Or are we Lake Louise? Whatever, we're going to Lake Louise. But take the scenic view here once again. Always good to see the scenic view when you can actually see the train. There we go. We're slowly increasing in speed. Not not that fast, which is good. We don't want to go too too quickly, so slowly surely wins the race in this game. Lake Louise, Alberta. Yeah, that's right. And what about Field? I think that's in British Columbia. Yeah, Field, British Columbia. Thought so. Just wanted to make sure my geography was right there, because they're really close together. Those two places. That's why I was double checking. 23.8, 23.9, ooh, probably throttle back here a little bit, ooh, look at that, wow, gorgeous, yep, let's throttle back here a little bit, take it down to 75%, the gradient has decreased significantly now, uh, we're at 0.5 instead of 2.2, .2, so that's quite a difference. Probably throttle back again too. Look at that. Could probably fish in there. I would suspect at least. Throttle back again, down to 50%. Gonna keep an eye on that speedo. Still increasing. 25%. I want to see us go down one tick. There we go. Might be too much now. We'll see. I don't know. That seems to be maintaining it pretty good. Got a green light again. Excellent. It's marker 127, I hope. 125. There must be something else then. They're not going up incrementally or anything. Oh, we're still speeding here. Hit the throttle back a little bit more. There we go. 25.4, 25.3, excellent. Just want to see just a little bit of a decrease. Slow, slow decrease. Don't want to see a drastic decrease or increase for that matter. Excellent. Where are we on the map here? There we are right there. That's 124. That must be the marker 124. Oh, well, we're going backwards, not the other way around. That's fine. Here's our next stop here. Or we have to go Yeah, just just via that place. Alright, excellent. Good. Got all the scenery in this particular DLC. Got the train, look how huge that thing is. Doesn't seem like much when you're when you're like this. Uh, but I imagine in real life, trying to slow down a locomotive or a train like this would just be Ridiculous. Nice. Could probably zoom out here. There we go. Our field of view is all like focused on the train itself. Look at that. Makes me think back to when I was there. All right. Our gradient is increasing again, slowly. 1.2. We're at 25% 25, 25 throttle right now. 24.4 miles an hour. 
24.3. Okay, we're slowing down slowly. All right. Gonna have to start increasing our throttle once again here. 37%. I guess that would be throttle three, according to this little thing here. Slowly but surely increasing the throttle again. Again, we don't want to speed. What's our time like? Uh, 10.53, so there are a few more minutes. Do we need to do any switching? Crossing the road. Sound the horn here. And the bell, technically. There we go. Excellent. I forget which button is to turn the bell off. I want to say it's a uh, B. No. <laughs> it was a guess. I'm like, makes sense if it was B, but it's not. 1.2 percent incline. Let's go ahead and save it right here, as we're getting to the the section up here. I don't think we need to do any switching. Uh, go via St Stephen South track. Yep, we're on the right track. There it is, 0 0.62, 0 0.6 miles up there. Just under three quarters of a mile. Look at this. Must be a service road right there. Where the uh, rail railway workers, wow, it's tougher to say I thought it was going to be. The railway workers work or they go along the track and do maintenance and whatnot all right here we go coming up to Stephen south track tracks gonna split again look at that oh see that there's a bear there it's not moving but it's there <laughs> that's fine say hey, there's some wildlife in here all right, 50% throttle, 1.5% grade. Probably increase our throttle just a wee bit more. Looking good. Another gorgeous looking lake. For them not focusing on, uh, oh, I got green, we're good. For them not focusing on water, it looks pretty good actually. Better than you'd expect, honestly. All right, here we go. Got a green. Throttle up to 75%. As the RPMs increase, we'll slowly increase in speed as well. Our gradient's decreasing again. We're at 1%. Coming up to the main tracks. So we might actually be going past or through Canmore then. Uh, Canmore, would that be right? A little before, I think. That might be after. I'm trying to think of where it is on the map in comparison to Lake Louise. I think it's after Lake Louise. Going, coming from the west, at least. 24.6, 24.5. We have to slow down the train a little bit here. What's going to happen is we're in 35, 35 of a mile an hour range, but the black back of the train isn't. So we can't go that fast until the whole train is there. So I'll have to wait for that. Very cool. Look at that. Hmm? 25.3, we're still increasing in speed. Probably might be safe. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to decrease our throttle by a bit here. Don't want to go 26, because you will lose points if you go 26. 38 percent throttle 25 percent throttle we're getting awfully close there we go slowing down just right now because like I said only when the back of the train is past that point will the actual speed decrease and actually we're going downhill now too 
Okay, yep, we're going downhill. So let's go ahead and save right here. Because this is where it gets difficult. Let's put the train brake on here a little bit. Because what's going to happen here is, as we go s down, and the gradient changes to a downhill, you'll see, uh, as the tr whole train gets on that downhill, that's when you really start seeing the uh, the weight of it all, basically. So it's, it's increasing in speed. Look how fast it's increasing now. I have zero throttle now. And once the back of the train's down there, it should be fine. There's the back of the train past that last point. See our speedo speed change. There we go. Put a little bit of throttle on. Bring our speed up to 35. But we have to be careful because we're going downhill now. And it does not take much to get up to speed down going downhill. We're on the divide south track east. This is good. That's where you want to be. Excellent. Another 16 minutes or so, and then we'll be at our destination. Oh, gotta be careful, I got a flashing yellow light here. So I believe that means proceed with caution. Alright, we're gonna find out in a second here. Slow down a little bit. Let's see what happens. So that means, if I had to guess, that means there's a section, where am I here? There's a train in the next section somewhere. This guy right here, I guess. Timeliness bonus. And we're actually increasing in speed now again. See that? I have zero throttle on. This is what happens when you start going downhill. Next stop, 11.06. Okay, we're safely going downhill now. This is good. And what will happen is, once we start getting to a speed that's a little too fast, I'll have to start applying the brakes and then the dynamic brakes and we'll coast down the hill while applying brake pressure slowly and surely. Nice. There we go. Look at that. What is that? That's oh, a road. <laughs> I just look really strange from like this direct this slide. Just look like a flat wall. I'm like, what's going on there? Alright. Gotta be careful on the speed here. Don't want to get too crazy. Twenty eight point four, yeah. Yep, we gotta be careful, because now we're gonna start increasing speed probably a little bit more than I want to be. 1.6% down gradient looks like now. Up to 30, km, 30 miles an hour. You can tell I don't use miles an hour, eh? All right, here we go, 31. Let's take that throttle off there. So we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. 4.36 miles to our destination. Still increasing in speed, as you can probably see. 33 miles an hour now. Coasting downhill. There we go. 34. I'm gonna start applying the brakes now. So we got 10% brakes on. Another train up there. Nice. Still, we're slowing down a little bit here. Saw the dynamic brake.
Oh, we don't want to slow down that much. Not quite that much. We're going to take the dynamic break off. Alright, take that break off now. Pick up our speed just a little bit. Got a little too aggressive on the brakes there. It's a slow climb down. Or descent. Not really a climb anymore now, is it? Alright, coming up to our next lights right here. Have to be careful. Because they may be red. What does the light tell us? Yellow. Okay, we're still okay then. As long as we don't get too crazy in our speed, we'll be okay. Alright. Still increasing in this speed. 31. No, 30. 30.8, 30.7, 30.6. Okay, we're slowing down. Must be coming out to flat terrain here. Oh, now we're speeding up again. Oh well. Alright. Got a yellow light. Proceed with caution. Means there's probably a train in the next section of track. Let's see what happens when we pass. Eee! Always makes me nervous when I pass through a yellow light. Even though I know what they mean, but it's one of those situations where they're like, is that okay? Okay. Pick up a little bit of speed here again. 34. Apply brakes slowly. There we go. An old telegraph pole there. Thirty-two, thirty-three. Slowing down here a little bit. Not too, too much. I don't want to slow down a crazy amount. Destinations in two point six five miles now. Coming to the end here. Take the brakes off again. Coast down the hill. We gotta be there at 11:06. Okay, we should be okay. Don't want to go down this hill too slow because it's funny. This game's like if you go down the hill too slow, you'll lose points. If you go down the hill too fast, you'll lose points. So you're like damned if you do, damned if you don't in this kind of context. So you have to kind of like you know do a, a dance of dance dance with death in this case, so to speak. Because they're like, okay, like, do you go to go a little bit faster, go a little bit slower? You'll need to hold. We'll need to hold you a few minutes at Lake Louise South Track. Because I'll have a CP train 109 approaching on a single track. RTC out. Okay, good to know. So we'll need to stop. So we're good so far. Let's go ahead and save once again. I'm being ultra safe. Speed's increasing once again. There we go. Our CP train. Nice. Canadian Pacific. And you have uh, Canadian National and Canadian Pacific. And there may be one other one. We have Amtrak that comes in the United States, comes from the United States into Canada. Usually, um, I think Montreal area, if I had to guess. I know you can catch Amtraks from Montreal, but I don't know if that's a common area for Amtrak or not. Alright, our speed is increasing in a little bit. We've just kind of been coasting down the hill slowly. I'm not sure if this is the right thing to do, but... It's what I've been doing so far. Got, like, creeks and rivers on both sides, looks like, almost. 33, doing okay still. Coming up to 11 o'clock. All right, 1.5 miles. Nice, steel girder train, steel girder bridge. Perfect. All right, so we need to be careful here. I don't know if there's any other. So we need to stop here on the south track. Okay. We're getting up to that speed limit again. 
How far do we have to go here? Just under a mile. Oh, just over a mile. All right. Well, let's start considering slowing down. Put that brake on. At 10%, it'll probably slow us down just enough. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Once we get to point f half a mile, I guess. That's when we'll start considering applying the brakes for reals. Because this is slowing us down sl slowly, which is what we want, basically. All right, excellent. And that's our destination right up there. 0.7 miles, yep. 50% brakes on. There we go. I'm not sure we're going to need to hit the dynamic, dynamic brake at all. Probably can ease up in the brake even. Yeah, probably. Quarter of a mile. Hmm. I wonder. Once we get to a quarter of a mile, I'm going to start slowing down a bit more. Nineteen. So we want to coast slowly in. Don't want to get too crazy with the braking because you'll lose points. Don't want to get too aggressive. It's always something, right? Too much, too little, like I said before. You lose points either way. All right, so. 20% braking. Just want to Stop in at this one little spot. There's the light right there. That's where we need to stop just before that. This is good. Just coming in nice and slow, which is good. For, this is what we're trying to do here. This is excellent. Ease up in the brake a smidge. 9.6. Good. All right, apply the brake a bit more. There we go, 6.5, 6, 5, slowing down just at the right speed. If I could only do this every single time, that'd be awesome. There we go. Look at that. Wow. 1.5. Slowing down the last few under a mile an hour now. There you go. Stopped. Got the brakes on. This is good. Nice. And we're waiting for our train to come through. Timeliness bonus, excellent, well done. You've made a good run over the heart of CP's magnificent kicking horse pass. Take a brief break. Scenario complete, nice. Oh yeah, gold. Wow, that was awesome. I'm surprised I did that well. That was like, like honestly, the only thing I did before was like I did that first little part, so <laughs> that's awesome. Anyways, folks, that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed that spiral bound Canadian mountain passes a uh, little section of the track there. My name's Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed once again. If you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Train Simulator 2017 or 2016, whichever one, whichever one this one is. <laughs> Anyways, catch you guys later.